Hi students. Good morning. I hope you all are fine. Welcome to grade 11 business mathematics class. Okay. In our last class, we learned about combinations and I gave some homework for you. I hope you all completed. So I said in our next class, we will start one very, very important section. Uh, so mathematical induction. So we are going to learn today. In our second chapter, Mathematical Induction, this uh, section is very, very important. We can expect one 5 mark question from this se section. Okay. So, please students, listen carefully. Okay. I think this topic is new for you. Uh, you need to... So, first all of you take down your book, you need, no need to take down all the things uh, to your note, but just I am reading. So, now when I am explaining, you won't understand, okay. So, when you are doing the problem, you will get a good idea. So, all of you take down your books, uh, mathematical induction, they are on blue color, on violet color, on box is there, okay. So, go through that. The principle of mathematical induction. So, how we will do this? So, first initial one step and inductive one step is given. So, let P of n be a given statement for n belongs to n. So, wherever, whatever the statement they gave, you need to choose this P of n. So, let us assume the given statement is P of n. That's the first. Then first initial step is, let the statement is true for n equal to 1. So, you need to first, you need to assume for n equal to 1. So, in the place of n, you need to substitute the value as 1. So, if it is okay, if it is um, when you are substituting for n is 1, LHS and RHS is becoming equal, you will say the statement is true for P of n. Next, if it is true means we will go for the inductive step. Next step we will go. If the statement is true for n equal to k, in the place of n, first you need to substitute 1. Next you will substitute k. Okay, that's also true means next you will assume for k plus 1 and we will prove. Then you will say that P of n is true for all natural numbers n. That's the matter. I think now you got a simple idea. The main thing is you need to assume the statement as P of n. First you need to assume as n is equal to 1. If it is true, next move to n. n in, in the place of n you need to substitute as k. That's also true means we will assume for n equal to k plus 1. If it is also true means you will say the P of n. The given statement is true for all natural numbers n. Okay, so let's move to the question. So you just go through that principle of mathematical induction. I think that no need to write down to your note, but uh, you need to learn that. Sometimes they may ask in two mark question, what is the principle of mathematical induction? First day itself, I said students, it's not a 10 standard. So some creative questions or whatever, maybe they can ask. So each and every line is important. So the principle of mathematical induction, you learn from your book. Okay, now let's move to the problem. Example 2.3 using mathematical induction method prove that 1 plus 2 plus P plus etc. up to n equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. n belongs to n. Have you seen this anywhere? Yes. In your last year, uh, I think in the second chapter, in the last exercise, you learned this formula for natural numbers. Is it right? Now we are going to prove whether it is true. Okay. Using mathematical equation. Okay. So here... For each and every step, they will allot the mark. So, steps is very, very important. So, whenever they, they gave the statement, uh, question, you need to assume the statement as P of A. Okay. So, this step is common for everything. That is, let the given statement P of N be defined. As we are going to assume the given uh, statement is P of N. That's all. Okay. 
So here P of A we are going to assume. P of N let's define this. How we are writing the given statement. That's all. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. Plus N is equal to N into N plus 1 by 2 for all N belongs to N. Keep it in mind children. This is very very important. This is first step. So whatever the question is there. So you need to assume that is the given statement P of N. Okay. We need to assume the given statement is P of N. I am moving very slowly. The reason is it is very very important section. Okay. So the given statement P of N is defined as. So whatever they give the statement you need to assume as P of N. So P of N is equal to I wrote the given question. Okay. Now we are moving to step 1. What's our step 1? I said in the principle of uh, mathematical induction. First you need to. Put in the place of n is 1. Okay. So, now in the place of n, you need to substitute as 1. So, put n equal to 1. So, in the place of n, shall we substitute 1? So, LHS. LHS place. If you are substituting 1, what will happen? Okay. So, P of n. Is it right? So, in the place of n, you need to substitute 1 means... LHS P of 1 the value is 1. Okay. Now RHS. Take down the RHS. What's RHS? N into N plus 1. Is it right? So P of 1 we are going to substitute this. P of 1 is equal to 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2. What I did in the place of N I substituted 1. So what's the answer? 1 into 2 by 2. So 2 and 2 get cancelled 1. Whether LHS and RHS are equal? Yes. So, LHS is equal to RHS for N equal to 1. So, what you will conclude? P of 1 is true. This is the first step. Have you got it? So, first what you need to do? Let us assume the given statement is P of 1. P of N. Okay, that's the first thing we need to define as P of N. Then step 1 what you need to do? Put N equal to 1. In the place of N you need to substitute as 1. So, I substituted for LHS as well as RHS. Both the sides also I get the value was equal. So, now I will say P of 1 is true. Next step what do we do? In the place of N we are going to substitute as K. Okay. And step 2. Step 2. That is. Assume that the statement is true for n equal to k. Understand students? First what you did for n equal to 1. Now what you need to do in the place of n you need to substitute as k. That is p of k. In the place of n you substitute k. Okay p of k equal to sorry. That is P of K is true. How P of K will become true? Shall we assume? That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. Etc. Up to K. That is equal to K into K plus 1 by 2 is true. This one already you know. Is it right in the last year? That is uh, in the place of N. If you are substituting P, R, G, R, M, R, K, R, anything means also. You will get the same formula. Is it right? Whether Is there any changes? No. So, P of K is also true. Understand? So, next. Step 3. In step 3, what do you need to do? We need to assume for K plus 1. So, to prove that P of K plus 1 is true. We need to assume P of K plus 1 is true. For that, what do you do? Means P of K plus 1. In the place of n k you need to substitute k plus 1 so that's equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus now you will have it out mom here in the place of k you said in the place of k you need to substitute k plus 1 is it right so here it is k plus 1 now the last value is k plus 1 is it right that is in the place of k k plus 1 correct in the place of k k plus 1 what's the previous number then Correct, got it? 
will have a doubt again and again. I am repeating that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. Up to I said in the place of k you need to substitute as k plus 1. I substituted in the place of k as k plus 1. Before number k is it right then only next number will become k plus 1 because it is a natural number. If it is 5 months next number 5 plus 1 6 is it right. So now up to here that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. up to k. Shall we write from here to here the value was P of K? Yes, because from here to here it is the same as P of K. So, P of K plus K plus 1. Okay, so in the place of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. up to K, we can write this P of K. Okay, so now what is the formula for P of K means K into K plus 1 by 2 plus k plus 1. Now take down the LCM. LCM is 2 k into k plus 1 plus 2 into k plus 1. That is equal to now k square plus k plus 2 k plus 2 divided by 2. Simplify k square plus 3 k plus 2 divided by 2. Okay. Now it is a quadratic, so 3, 1 into 2. So, what are the factors? k plus 1 and k plus 2. Now, therefore, p of k plus 1 is true. Now, you will have a doubt. Ma'am, how p of k plus 1 is true? Yes. Shall we check down now? Now, this is p of k. Is it right? Now, it is k. Correct? In the place of k, whether you got k plus 1? Yes. Here it is k plus 1. Is it right? So in the place of k plus 1, if we substitute k plus 1, what will happen in the place of k? k plus 1 means k plus 1 plus 1. So k plus 2 by 2. Correct? Whether it is true? Correct. So in the place of p, this is the value for p of k. Is it right? k into k plus 1 by 2. If we substitute k as k plus 1, we need to get this answer. Okay. So in the place of k, if I substituted k plus 1, k plus 1 is there. Then k plus 1 means k plus 1 plus 1. So k plus 2, p of k plus 1 is also true. So you need to conclude the answer this. If p of k is true, then p of k plus 1 is true. Therefore, p of n is true. For all n belongs to n. Okay. Got it. So very very important students. So my first problem when you are doing. You will feel some more difficult. Afterwards it will be very easy. So first step you need to do P of E. You need to define as P of n. Second what will you do? Step 1. We need to assume for 1. LHS is equal to RHS. Next what will you do? We need to assume for K. So, okay, so k for will here we will get p of k is equal to true. So, this is the value for p of k. Okay, so in the place of p of k, next you need to substitute p of k plus 1. So, whether uh, if you are assuming p of k is true and we are getting p of k plus 1 means true, means we will conclude the answer. If p of k is true, then p of k plus 1 is also true. Therefore, p of n is true for all n belongs to. Got it? Okay, I hope you got this good idea. Let's move to next question. Example 2.35 by the principle of mathematical induction prove that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc up to 2n minus 1 equal to n square for all n belongs to n. This is also last year we have learned this is right for odd numbers. So same as we are going to do. Solution let p of n is Define this. Write down the given statement. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc. Up to 2n minus 1 is equal to n square. Next what will you do? Step 1. 
what is step 1 put n equal to 1 put n equal to 1 substitute here in the place of n is 1 okay so p of 1 okay that is equal to 2 into 1 minus 1 so what will you get 1 correct so i this is lhs now substitute for rhs rhs is n square so that's equal to 1 square minus 1 Okay, so P of 1 is true. Whether LHS is equal to RHS? Yes, LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, P of 1 is true. Next step, what do you do? Step 2, what do you do? P of, assume that P of K is true. We need to assume for P of K is true. So, assume, put it. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc plus 2 into k minus 1 is equal to k square. Okay. Now it's okay. Now step 3 what do we do? To prove p of k plus 1 is true. We need to prove for p of k plus 1 is true. Now put it. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc up to 2k minus 1. Next, in the place of this one will be same. Next, what will you get? 2k plus 1 is it right. So, in the place of k, you need to substitute k plus 1 is it right. So, if you substitute what will happen? 2 into k plus 1 minus 1. So, what will you get? 2k plus 2 minus 1. What will you get? 2k plus 1. Now, substitute this is k plus 1. Understand students? So, this one will be same, is it right? This is a previous, uh, okay. So, if we substitute in the place of k plus 1, you will get 2k plus 1, okay. Now, this up to here, from here to here, how do you do? P of k plus 2k plus 1. So, in the place of p of k, what will you substitute? k square, is it right? So, k square plus 2k plus 1, okay. Now, this one, 1, 2, 1, 1. So, what's the value you will get here? What the value you will get? k plus 1 the whole square. Okay. Now, shall we check it? Here it is k square. Here it is k plus 1 the whole square. Whether it is true in the place of k, whether it is k plus 1? Yes. So, k plus 1 is true. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true. Then, p of k is true. What will you conclude then? Therefore, P of N is true for all N belongs to N. Whether you saw this form uh, notation before, it is for all. Okay, it's a symbol for for all. Okay, that is a uh, same as A. Okay, uh, from here to here, down to up, it is for all. Okay, so K square, K plus 1, the whole square. Okay, one more we do. Example 2.36 by mathematical induction prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Okay. Solution. Let P of N denote the statement. You know, is it right? Denote the statement. What's the statement? Write down the statement. 1 square plus, sorry, 1 square. It's also in Gavlan, is it right? 3 square plus etc. plus N square is equal to N into N plus 1 into 2N plus 1 by 6. Okay. Now, step, what's the step 1? Step 1. Put n equal to 1. Okay. So, you will get n equal to 1 means L gauges. L gauges n square is it right. So, 1 square is equal to 1. R gauges. Substitute in R gauges as 1. 1 into 1 plus 1. 2 into 1 plus 1 divided by 6. So, 1 into 2 into 2 into 1. 2, 2 plus 1. 3 by 6. That's equal to 1. So, L gauges is equal to R gauges. Therefore, P of 1 is true. Got it? I hope you now you got good idea. Okay, next is step 2.
Step two, what did he do? What did he assume? Assume that P of K is true. Assume that P of K is true. Put down P of K equal to uh, 1 square plus 2 square plus etc. Plus K square is equal to K into K plus 1 into 2 into K plus 1 divided by 6. Okay. Now, now what did he do? We need to prove for P of K plus 1. Is it right? So, to prove P of K plus 1 is true. Now, in the place of K, substitute as K plus 1. So, what will you get? 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus etc. Plus K square. Next term in the place of K is K plus 1 the whole square. So, K plus 1 the whole square is equal to. So, in the place of K, what will you get? From here to here, what formula you will apply? K into K plus 1 into 2K plus 1 divided by 6 plus k plus 1 the whole square. Now simplify what is LCM? 6 is LCM. So for k into k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 plus 6 into k plus 1 the whole square. Now simplify ma karakafli. So k So shall we take k plus 1 outside? So what is the balance? k into 2k plus 1 plus 6 into 1k plus 1 I took outside. So divided by 6. Okay. That's equal to k plus 1 is in outside. So, 2k square plus k multiply inside. 6k plus 6 divided by 6. That's equal to k plus 1 into 2k square plus 7k plus 6 divided by 6. Okay. That's equal to k plus 1 into this one you factorize it. You will get 12, 7. Uh, so, what are the numbers? 3 and 4 you will get. Simplify 2k square plus 4k plus 3k plus 12 plus 6. So, you will get 2k outside. So, 2 sorry k plus 2 you will get. So, this all the things you know is it right already. So, okay. so what are the factors? 2k plus 3 is one factor. k plus 2 is one factor divided by 6. Okay. Now, shall we check it by using the. So, here. What's the formula for uh, k plus 1 in the place of k? Whether it is k plus 1? Right. So, next in the place of k plus 1, plus 1. So, k plus 2 is there? Yes. Then 2k plus 1. So, 2 into k plus 1, plus 1. So, 2 into k plus 1, plus 1 means 2k plus 3. Whether it is true? Yes. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true. Whenever p of k is true. Okay, therefore, P of N is true for all N belongs to E. Got it? So, P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. This problem, uh, sometimes we will ask in 5 mark question, but very easy. So, if you are, uh, if you understand the uh, concept, it will be very easy. Now, assume for uh, n equal to 1, both sides will be equal. Then p of k, then p of k plus 1. If it is also true, maps, you will say p of k plus 1 is true. Maps. p of n is true for all n belongs to g. Got it? Okay, students. So, three examples we have completed. All of you take down your book. Exercise 2.5. All of you try first problem. I am doing only one homework for you. So, homework. Exercise 2.5. Problem number 1. Okay. Will it try? Okay. So, um, three, two more examples and some more problems in exercise I left. We will um, do in the next class. Okay, students. Be safe. Uh, please learn this. Take down to your class or do the homeworks also. Okay. It's a very, very important. So, don't leave this. Okay, students. We will meet in the